like 10 p.m. last night and this is actually pretty like not that bad I mean it was like storming storming I don't know how and it's supposed to be doing this until like 4 p.m. I just I don't know how there's so much rain this is not showing you enough but just know there was so much hi guys welcome to another week in my life vlog um, I'm about to go I was gonna say to boxing I'm about to go to weightlifting class I take it Fit Social Club. I love it. Today's late day. It's my first late day class with them. Um, it is pouring out, so it really ruined my like morning walk. I've been really back on my wellness fitness girl era. I'm back in the infrared. I've been back in all my workouts. I've been back on my morning walks. I've been back on my like podcasts and reading and all that stuff. I'm just feeling so good. Like my brain fog has gotten so much better. I just feel like I have more energy. I feel healthier. Like I just feel better. And I love this era, you know? So we're just back on our healthy girl routine, basically. Um, this is what I'm wearing to my workout. Set active top, bottoms are story. Bro I almost said Brooklyn in. Brooks uh, running shoes. And then about to head out. I will never get over these cups that my friends got me for my birthday for the last line. They were like literally in my dream. The little espresso shot things. I mean, so cute. Like literally the cutest thing ever. Last night I batched, I batched, like batch recorded. I made some healthy soup. I made this incredible chicken. Like it was so good. I probably will make it again. All the recipes are on my Instagram for both of those, but like unbelievable. So if you guys are new here, subscribe. Thank you. Just finished boxing, it's still raining. I'm going to get a coffee. <laughs> Guys, let me just give you a little look into my morning. So I woke up to the storms, you know? I mean, it was storming all night long. We got like nine inches of rain in like a couple hours. And normally I love rain. Like this is what hurts so much. I love rain. I don't love it right now because I woke up to very bad water damage in my house upstairs in my closet room. There was water all over the floor. Long story short, there is this thing that my HOA hasn't fixed and because they haven't fixed it, I keep getting water damage and I'm like literally arguing with them all the time. So that's one thing. I get to my car, water damage. Because the sealant on my window is like broken. So I have to take that to the dealership today. Because I'm driving to weightlifting, there's literally my foot is in a pile, in a pile. My foot is in a pile. Um, so yeah, and uh, anyways, obviously grateful, but uh, there's bigger problems in the world, it's fine. Um, but like, what a Monday morning. What a Monday morning, you know? So, I also like don't know how I'm gonna see the dogs out because it is like literally pouring. So, and it's not gonna stop until three. Like, I really don't know what I'm gonna do. So after this, now that you guys are caught up and you know where I'm at, I'm gonna take a shower, I'm gonna get in comfy clothes, and I'm gonna be in a good mood. So don't even worry about me. I'm not gonna bring y'all's moods down. Um, if anything, I just want you guys to count your blessings that you're not me this morning. You know? It's not the best. Not the best. This will happen by like 8.30. Alright, I got stuck at my laptop doing a bunch of work. I now showered, just put on some clothes, we'll sweat. It is still pouring out. All of the like news reports and stuff are very bad. There's a ton of people just like me who have water damage, which is tragic. I think I have someone coming today. I just got off the phone, but I'm lighting my fall candle because it just puts me in such a good mood. Um, I have a ton of like editing, which I don't normally edit my YouTube videos. I do have one I have to edit and then I have a bunch of other like brand stuff that I need to edit. Lots of computer work. I have a call today um, with my oh investment people. So I'm really just an adult. I've been on the phone with the roofers. I've been figuring out car stuff. I've been figuring out HOA stuff. I've been figuring out my investments. I mean, I've done basically everything I've not been wanting to do. I've been putting off in the past week. So honestly, guys, I'm like a real adult these days, okay? It's not fun and I wouldn't recommend it at all. But the very good news I have is that I made this incredible peach chicken thing um recipes on my stories i'm not exaggerating when i say it might be the best thing i've ever made and it's also you know healthier and um just like literally the best thing I've ever made not hard to make the recipes on my instagram 
it is so good. So I'm heating that up. I have a little bit of leftovers for it. And then as soon as I eat it all, I'm gonna have to make some more. So it's just a productive, very Monday Monday, you know? I already started eating. I'm watching JC's vlog. It's so good. It doesn't look good, but it's very good. Do, 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 do. Guys, I am walking around my house singing and I am so happy because I have finally, finally beat my number one haters, which is the HOA. I have been telling them since I moved in, that this is their fault and they've been trying to, they're always like trying to obviously not pay for things, even though it is literally their fault. Little background, if you don't know what the HOA is, it's like the worst thing ever. I mean, it can be good, but like not really. I mean, whatever. This is probably not entertaining to anyone. But the HOA covers exterior things on your property and then I now have interior issues because of exterior things. And very nice, Man, most, like the most kind, incredible roofing man came over just now and he found the issue on the roof immediately. So just like I've been saying to the HOA, it is their fault, not my fault. Thank God, and now I am in the best mood possible. Earlier today when I said, you know, this is not my money, you know what, I take it all back. This is my money because I finally taken down my number one hater, which is the HOA. Wow, I'm so happy. I might have to write a speech. I might have to write a letter. I might have to write an acceptance speech. I could keep going and going. I've called everyone I know to tell them, but uh, no one's answering my phone. So, anyways, I'm gonna get back to work. But just know, today has really turned around. Since you guys last talked to me, um, right after you know my major triumph against the HOA, which are my enemies, my bullies, have only made life's so difficult. Well, really, to clarify, it's not the people on the HOA board, it's like the guy who's the head of the HOA, everyone hates him. He is my hater. And I've got to figure out a way to get rid of that purple screensaver. Anyway, since then, I've just been working. I got some editing done. I edited my last Sunday routine, and that is just one of my favorite videos. I'm loving my YouTube channel again. Um, I'm just feeling inspired again, and I was not feeling that way, but I swear, guys, one of y'all messaged me this morning or DM'd me and was like, last year in a vlog you said, I just woke up and I decided it's fall. And let me tell you, I did that again this year. I didn't even realize, that I, see I don't forget the things I say on vlogs. Also, this container of my almond milk looks super close to my vegetable broth container. So uh, I don't wanna tell you how many times I've almost put vegetable broth in my coffee. Too many times, and it's not been good. Not been good at all. But anyways, I'm about to get on a call with my like investment guy. So uh, I'm really an adult. I really am. All right, guys. I just got off the call. I finished my video, sent it in. It is five. I'm gonna go try to get my car detailed. There was other car problems, which was a minor issue that kind of it's on me like I should have had it fixed before it rained and blah 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 whatever so that's getting fixed tomorrow but I need to like go get my car washed now so I'm gonna bring my laptop and then work from there the rain is no more thank god um I just feel like such an adult like so productive today did all the things that I don't want to do I feel really on top of it you know I hate being an adult I really do anyways I'm gonna head out and get some work done we got it, you know? Breath of fresh air, if you will. Guys, I just went downstairs and Dear Media sent me these cupcakes. How cute. There are so many. I'm gonna need to have some friends over. Oh my God, like so cute. My sister's gonna be very jealous because she loves sprinkles. Also, not sponsored. I work with them on the podcast, but I don't have a current deal with them or anything. I, oh gosh, these clothes are a little bit wet from the rain, I think. No, I can't tell. I think this one is, but I'll just lay it out to dry. Um, that's gonna smell bad, so gotta figure that one out. Anyways, I got some clothes. I rented some clothes because I'm going to LA next weekend and I was like, honestly, I feel like this is just a better vibe. I'll show you guys what I picked out. First things first, this one is, got rained on, tragic. This cute little dress that's from Anthropology. What do you think fits? It's cute, it's light, it's airy. I also got this dress because this is something I would normally not wear, but I thought it could be fun for like a night out, with just like some heels. Got this dress that is from, is it ASTR after the label? ASTR. And this one was really cool. Fits, dude, you're really the way. Um, one shoulder, I love a good one shoulder moment. Fun. Can wear it with sneakers, dress it down, or at night with some heels. Fits just like couldn't deal without attention. Got this one. This one's also wet. Ugh, tragic. 
Um, it's just super cute. Maxi dress. Gotta figure out how to handle this stuff. Oh, this top I thought was fun. It's like a tool little black tank top. I don't know what brand that is. And then this one I've always wanted to try out one of these dresses. It's a selkie dress and this I want to wear on a night out. I just thought it was so fun. Like I've always wanted to wear one of these. So I love this. There's no car washes, nothing. I drove around for like an hour and a half and we've given up. We're done with it in the morning. But I came home to a very exciting package from The Real Real. Well, my package, I mean, I, I bought this. But anyways, look at my new ballet flats. I mean, they're perfect. Ballet flats are in. Haters are gonna hate, but I'm telling you right now, these are so perfect for me. They're brown, Chanel. Oh my God, I love them, I'm so excited. How do y'all feel about the ballet trend, ballet flat trend? Listen, I wasn't I wasn't for it until one day I woke up and suddenly I was. So uh, I'm in, I'm in, you know? Good morning guys, it is 6.45. Um, I'm dressed now, I'm wearing this top from Girlfriend. These bottoms are from Set, my Brooks running shoes. Normally on Tuesdays I would do a walk and then go to Pilates, but my schedule's messed up and I have to start, I have to work out earlier so that I can do the car wash and then I have a lot of car and house I'm dealing with today. So I'm gonna do the walk after and drop my car with car wash. But I'm going to boxing this morning, which I've been loving boxing. So I'm not complaining at all. It is literally so much fun. I'm taking from a new teacher. I normally take from Dre, but I'm really excited. So that class is at like 7.10, so I need to go downstairs. Um, I am reading What Happened to the Bennets. I read probably like half of it last night, and I actually really like it. It's really like suspenseful. It's freaking me out when I'm reading it, which I don't normally get scared when I read books, but like something about it is like, I don't know, they're in witness protection programs, it's like really crazy. Oh, you're the coolest man alive, Fitz. Back from boxing, it was great. Um, so the rain has come back to ruin my life again. It started raining, so obviously I can't get my cars right now. This is my adult schedule for today. Group people are coming at 11. My car people to fix my windshield are coming at 12. And then I'm getting my car, now I have to get it detailed, like the inside, because there's water in it. Um, and that's coming at 2.30 because I'm not trusting that my car place is gonna open, and I really just need them to do the interior. And then we are done, so. Oh, boxing was great this morning. Did the 7.10 class, feeling incredible. Thought I was gonna go on a walk. Normally I go on a walk every day, and that's my favorite part of the day, but again, normally I love the rain, but the rain and me are not friends this week. But to put myself in a better mood, look at my spray tan hands right now. I'm supposed to be shooting the new Brad Bunny Housewife merch this afternoon, or this evening, so the sun better come out. Showered, got ready, and I'm about to get some work done. Since so much of my stuff got canceled today, I'm hoping I have a little bit of time to read. We'll see. I'm wearing my new sweats. These are a large. Um, I probably wear a medium and a large. These feel like a little bit big, like just here. So if I just like twist them down, but I like how they fit around my legs better. I'm gonna go through and see all the fits later um, and style for the shoe, but I have my coffee. And we're ready to go. Wow, look at how cute these are. September 6th in a matching crew, and the crew is incredible. Love. Hi, y'all. I just wanted to talk a little bit more about my like healthy routine. I, this is my experience, but also in no way, shape, or form do I think anything should be restrictive. Like, I am not saying you need to have a routine that's restrictive. One, it's obviously not good for you in so many ways, and two, it's not sustainable. What a healthy routine means to me in the way that I have a healthy relationship with like health overall is I just try to make sure I'm taking care of myself and listening to my body, if you will. Um, but in all seriousness, like I just feel better mentally when I'm getting movement in, when I'm working out. I personally love working out, so that is one of the things that I always use as like my go-to because I genuinely enjoy it. Now, I hate HIIT workouts. I hate, what else do I hate? I hate running. I hate a lot of types of workouts. But I love things like weightlifting. I love boxing. I love hot Pilates. Like I love that stuff. I don't even really like reformer Pilates, but I really like matte Pilates, right? So like I've just found the things. Oh, I love going on walks. If you have that as a workout, I do. Um, actually, it is. I don't know why. I, I just meant like an actual walk, not like a walk 
does show. Anyways, whatever, it doesn't matter, who cares? Everything is good. I feel like my best self, where I am the most stable and I am the most clear-minded, I have really bad anxiety, so. Like, here's the thing, if I just find that if I'm cooking from home, I feel better, and I have a more clear brain, and it also gives me that time to like unwind and relax, even if it's not like, quote, healthier food, in whatever way that, whatever that means to you, um, I've just found that something about that, like, is, it just makes me feel so much better. Um, I also think a lot of my health and wellness and all those routines and stuff, a lot of that is journaling, a lot of that is reading. Um, I haven't been into meditating, I haven't gotten into it yet, but I think that that really needs to happen. In my brain, I think it would, you know, be good. But anyways, like when it comes to like being like back on my healthy routine, these are things that just make me feel better and help me so much mentally. It's not restrictive. Like I literally had Cheetos and um, a cup yesterday. Like, you know what I mean? I just wanted to have a little chat because this is like a healthy routine vlog. Um, but obviously there is such thing as balance and like do whatever fuels you and whatever makes you feel the best and whatever aligns with you. You know what I mean? But don't restrict, please. That, don't do that. Don't do that, okay? Already making this again. It is so good. I did a lot more and I have a lot more chicken. It's from the farmer's market So this is about to go in there the cover will go on and then it'll finally cook and be ready It is so good the recipe is on my Instagram stories, but like literally unbelievable. I cannot describe to you This is the best thing I've ever made Time to put some looks together for tonight's shoot. I have my little eye patch things on. These are from Murad. I like them, but I like my loops ones better. I need more of my loops ones. These I just keep bunching up. Like I'm not doing it right. I also have coffee because I'm about to fall asleep. The sweats that I'm wearing right now, these are a large and I accidentally got you know some stuff on them already. I shouldn't have been wearing them today. My hair is still drying. I need to get ready in a second, but I feel like large sweats with probably my, let's see. I like the oversized fit of this. So this is an XL top, bottoms are large. It gives you that slouchy vibe. I guess the whole time, like am I gonna wear the same shoes? My green ones, probably. So large XL and this will be sweats you know it's hard to find the perfect oversized vibe so if y'all are wondering for when you order on the six this is like perfect i am going to take this off though i will say until the shoe because i don't want to stretch it out too much you can still, still see these it's cute okay so these are the medium bottoms as you can see they're still just like loose and whatever i just like really loose in my sweatpants but if you are a normal person, I am a medium. And he is like, I feel like this would be my actual size. I just like that. I'm trying to give you guys like a whole size breakdown in case. Um, and then these like fit on my butt better. So I'll probably do that for those shots. And maybe even I'll do like black tank top with this sneakers for one of the looks. Now that I'm like literally styling sneakers, I mean sweatpants, but like let me live, you know what I mean? This is going to be the last of the Breadwinning Housewife sets and basically clothing things that I come out with. At the end of the year, we have like a home collection coming out that's so fucking good. But after that, like I'm, I'm pretty much done with Breadwinning Housewife, I think, as of right now. So, but I'm pretty sure I am. I want to focus on the Okine. Like, I don't want to keep... I don't know. I'm just like pretty sure that I am, at least with like clothing. So, um, you guys will want to get this now. And for everyone who always asks... Like, oh my gosh, when is it restocking? When is it coming back? Like, this stuff, we're not restocking. So you need to get it immediately. I'm thinking biker shorts, the double XL. Give me a sec. Okay, and then this is for the biker shorts look. I'm gonna wear my green New Balances and this, I'm wearing a double XL. It's when it basically feels like a blanket. Also, I will say these are so freaking soft. I love this. Also, I like got a lot of clothes and a lot of new things recently i know fall is the best time for my wardrobe and i'm kind of feeling some like maybe styling videos like in my 
ballet flat girl era styling those clothes you know what i mean um let me know if you guys are interested i feel like those videos like never do well but i would like maybe incorporate it in a vlog or something i just think that it would be fun so anyways i'll probably just wear this for the rest of the day it is so comfortable like i am going to be living in this oh my god i i just cannot get over how cute this is i'm so proud of it it's my favorite breadwinning housewife like crew we've had if you look closely it's all breadwinning housewife it's like an astronaut who's baking who's reading and has everything in it like the whole point is that you can be whoever you want to be and then a lot of it is like traditionally an oxymoron even though the whole point is that it doesn't need to be an oxymoron, but traditionally speaking, it would be. So, anyways, breadwinning. We just love all of it. It's so cute. We have money, briefcases, space stuff, hammers, sports, cooking, boxing, space, you know, everything. It's cool. Equestrian stuff, aka horse stuff. All right, guys. So, we're going to do a little Sephora haul. I got stuff. I. For some reason, like just never go into Sephora. Sometimes I do, but most of the time, if I just like want to place an order, I've realized that every time Sephora delivers to my house, there must be something up with Sephora and my address. It gets delivered to the wrong house. I don't know what's going on. Then I realized Sephora's on Instacart and that just changed things, okay? Giving y'all a little haul. I got the Tower 28 spray in the big size. This stuff, guys, Unbelievable. So a few weeks ago when I saw my skin really cleared up, surprise, it's breaking out again. I'm sorry, I'm very this week, so like, what are you gonna do? Um, I started using the Tower 28 spray and Apostrophe. Then I have a topical cream and then I also have medication from Apostrophe and within a week, my skin was so clear and amazing. But I didn't know if it was the Tower 28 or if it was the Apostrophe or probably a combination of the two. And I will say, I ran out of the Tower 28 spray and then all of a sudden, I started breaking out again. A little bit, not as bad as it was before. So who knows, because also, keep in mind, I ran out this week and I'm also starting a period. And this is like the one week a month they really break out. And I will say it's not nearly as bad as it normally is if I wasn't on apostrophe. I do think it's a combination of the two, but it's not just apostrophe. The Tower 28 spray is amazing. Lindsay Carter told me about it. I know Haley Bieber uses it. I will link it below. It's just SOS spray, daily facial spray. You spray it on when you're having breakouts. And I'm not kidding, your skin looks incredible. It clears it up. I don't know what kind of witchcraft they put in this product, but it is the best thing I've ever used. So you guys need to try it out. Glow screen again. This is my all-time holy grail. I'm not exaggerating. This is probably, I would say like my 20th or 30th bottle, maybe even more. I've been using it for years since it like first came out. Um, and I like the golden hour one. What I love so much about glow screen is that it is one, sunscreen, and two, it gives you this beautiful glow and it blurs your skin out a little bit. So if you're someone who doesn't wear a ton of makeup, but you want something that just makes your skin look good when you're not wearing makeup, basically, but it's not really like a tinted moisturizer. It just is a product. The sunscreen itself just like makes your skin look good. So this one is just like a paler complexion, more normal, like works for me normally. But when I self tan, I feel like my face is always a little bit lighter than the rest of my body. So I really like the golden hour tent because the golden hour tent makes my face match the rest of my body better. So I really like that. Um, so I just picked up the golden hour one. And then I also got new shampoo and conditioner. I've never tried this, but I mean, I've tried the brand. Love the brand. How do you care sauce? Care sauce? I don't know. I like the brand a lot. My sister does too, and she is a hairstylist. I got the Discipline line. For some reason, I thought I got one that made your hair look really smooth and shiny. Claudia Oshry's hair just inspires me every day because I've never seen such beautiful, silky, shiny hair. Actually, I should just ask her what products she uses. They need to do, she has a like a hair care routine. I'm telling you, she has the best hair. It's like so beautiful. So now I want all the shine products so that I can look like her, you know? Or my hair can look like her. So now I'm gonna dry my hair and do my makeup and I'm finally staying a little bit awake and I'm gonna film a book video today. I'm on my second coffee. Here we are. I'm not kidding, guys. I think when I put the crew neck on, it's when I got in such a good mood. So I didn't do this well. I just put on the glow screen with um, 
the golden hour tent. I'm putting makeup on over this, so I was just like throwing it on really quickly. I don't know if you can even tell the before and after. Like, it, first off, it matches my face to my neck, but it also makes your skin glow and it gives you this nice little blur. So it looks great. I'll link it below if you guys haven't. I mean, I'm sure. How many of y'all, when did you guys actually start watching my videos? It was the first video. And like, even in college, I was using glow screen. And that, I mean, it was only two years ago, but that feels like it was like 10 years ago. It feels like a decade ago in my life. Okay, I finished filming my book video and now I'm about to go shoot the Rob Running Housewife merch. I'm gonna go get a tea first because I need a Starbucks cup as a prop and I also just like wanna go to Starbucks. Um, just giving y'all a little close up again of the crew, it's so cute. Also my room is just so cozy these days, like feels so good, you know? Um, the lip combo that I'm wearing currently, it is the Rare Beauty Lip Liner in Lively. I love this lip liner too because it's just a twist instead of, it doesn't need a sharpener obviously. And then I've been using the Laura Mercier lip gloss and this is in cream caramel, caramel. Uh, the consistency of this is so good too. It's just the best. So anyways, I'm heading out. I'm pretending it's fall and I'm getting a chai. Wow. Sorry. Thank you. Have a good day. It is fall to me guys. Wow. I just finished shooting the new set. It only took us like four minutes. Whew. It is hot. Not four minutes, 40 minutes. I shot with Heather, who I always use in Dallas. She's amazing. I'm listening to Plan Bree. And I just need to get home because it is hot. And that was whew, shooting at Sweat Set in like 90 degree weather. It's not the vibe. It's not the vibe. Let me tell you. Just took off my makeup. I am clearly very harsh because every time I take off my makeup, it looks like I've been crying for three years. So, Tower 28 spray. Whew. This needs to dry a little bit, and then I will put my topical cream on from Apostrophe. Whew. Wow. My eyes are watering, not from the spray, but because of myself. Now I'm putting my apostrophe taco cream on. Um, ooh, I'm crying. Should I make this my thumbnail? Get in, get in, kind of. I like can't even laugh right now because <laughs> just getting worse. I just wanted to say, I feel like I'm getting like my footing back with YouTube. I have expressed that over the summer I was feeling very down, very negative, like, oh, no one even cares. I should have stopped posting. I hate my videos and just like really uninspired. And now I feel like I'm getting my footing back. I'm excited to film again. I'm liking the videos. I'm feeling good about them. Some of the videos I've been loving. And I feel like I was being dramatic. And you guys are obviously here watching the videos. So thank you guys. I love you. But, oh my gosh. This is, I, I was trying to have a little heartfelt moment here, but uh, looks like that's not happening. Anyways, I think I'm getting my footing back with YouTube is, is what I'm getting at. And I'm feeling good about it. Whew. I do just want to point out again, like how perfectly cozy my home is. I'm gonna light my fall candle. I'm gonna get in bed early and read. I am so awake because of that chai that I drank when I was shooting. And I'm gonna need some like sleep pills tonight, but everything just feels so good. Good morning, guys. Oh, I'm gonna set you back. It is currently 6.50. I'm on my way to walk the trail with my dad. My eye pouch is on. Just really wakes me up in the morning. I'm gonna get coffee, walk the trail, go to weightlifting, and then after that, I have quite the wellness morning. I'm going to Restore Hyper Wellness in West Village. I got a membership, and I'm doing like the compression legs, which I've never done, and I'm getting pretty sore. So that would be good. And then I'm also gonna do a little infrared sauna session. There's nothing I love more than infrared. If I could do that every day, I would. Um, so it's really just quite the wellness morning, if you will. I'm feeling good. Oh, I finished the book, Where Did the Minutes Go? Or What Happened to the Minutes? What Happened to the Minutes? So good. Unlike any book I've read before, follows this family that gets into this weird accident and it's posed to you by chance. Their daughter dies, it's like immediately in the book. Um, and then because they've seen what they've seen, they have to go into a witness protection program. And then it, there's just like a lot of twists. It's very good. 
I would rate it like four stars. Out of my weightlifting class, hello. Best class ever, it is so much fun, and now I'm going to restore hyper wellness. Now it is sauna time, which is my favorite time ever. And I'm not kidding guys, infrared saunas. I, once you start doing it, your body craves it and nothing makes you feel better. I just, like, I love it so much. All right, I'm in the sauna. I don't leave my camera in here, don't worry. But it is the most relaxing, best thing ever. I go to Restore Hyper Wellness in the West Village, but like, there's nothing I love more than this infrared sauna. I used to do infrared all the time in LA. And then I did it when I was in Nashville, and then I like haven't found a place here that I loved yet. I love this place. It is so perfect. Also, I want to say like I was breaking out yesterday, used a Tower 28 spray, and now I'm gonna send an infrared, and like my stuff's already gone down so much, and infrared helps so much. So, anyways, I'm gonna read. I'm home and I've showered, and I just ordered my favorite lunch. I was craving it. Um, it's the hot chicken plate from Sweet Green. It is so good. <laughs> smiling I saw this package downstairs and it just had the biggest smile on my face Tacova's just sent me a pair of cowboy boots yes I am sent PR a lot this means the world to me also Stony Clover came in I put it on TikTok today literally the cutest stuff ever this means a lot to me because I love Tacova's obviously I love cowboy boots and I feel like cowboy boot companies just like don't really do a lot of stuff in like digital spaces but I am so excited okay I had a meeting get canceled. So I have a little bit of extra time today. And I wanted to plan out some outfits because this makes me just feel a little bit less stressed for days that are like really busy. And I know I want to wear this Revolve top on Friday. I feel like I'm going to wear it with the Okine pants and heels. So let's see. I don't know if I can wear them with the Dallas pants though because they might be like, I don't know if both of the things being baggy will look good. I kind of feel like they will. We're going to Carbone on Friday night for the first time in Dallas. So I'm really excited. If you guys didn't know, Carbone, the very famous restaurant in New York, major food group. Uh, major food group, it, we have one in Dallas now. And then we have Vino, which is easier to get into, but we're going to the normal one. I got this reservation like a month ago. It's like impossible to get these reservations right now. Okay. Oh, also, I, my realtor came over and we filmed 
a ton of questions answering, no, we filmed a ton of TikToks answering questions about living in Dallas. Um, so that's all on my TikTok, Kenzie the Texan, and then I have a full videos too about moving to Dallas that we filmed. Okay, so tomorrow night, I have an event at the Whip. And before that, I'm going with Lauren to her appointment at 4.30. So I need stuff that will withstand, I, I might be wearing the Ryan set because I feel like that can withstand all of it and it's easy and then I can throw on my bag. It's easy, cozy, that will probably be the vibe. I am so ready for fall because I have such good outfits. So many good things to wear. I think, I really don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear with these. Mm, that could be cute. Okay, it depends on my vibe tomorrow and what I'm wanting, but I could also wear like this white button down. Oh, I could do a full white on white look, which I was considering last weekend, but the issue is that I'm self tanning tonight, so that's probably not gonna be the vibe. But maybe I'll do just normal jeans, white button down. This one looks, actually no, that's a good size. White button down and the new balances. It'll just depend on my vibe. I'll probably still choose the nine set because it's lighter and it will probably be hot at least still. Also, I feel so bad for a little coconut. Oh, look how cute she looks. Guys, because, hold on. Oh, you look so sweet. The people have been working outside the house all day and then whatever noise they're making, it's making her shake. So, she looks so beautiful here though. Coconut. Oh my gosh, I could cry. Every time I walk into my room, I'm just so excited for it to be evening so I can come in here because it is so cozy right now. Um, but I saw on TikTok the other day, someone was applying their self-tanner with like medical gloves and not a tanning mitt because the tanning mitt absorbs a lot of the product so you get a better tan with the like plastic gloves, you know? So I got some on Amazon and I'm gonna try and see if that makes my tan go on any better. It's already 5.15, so it's time to get my night routine going, y'all. You know me and my night routine, especially in the fall. And I would like to start a new book I'm really just feeling cozy, feeling at home, and I'm convinced it's because my new bedding is just, I mean, it's just so good. Okay, it is a bit later. I've tanned, update on the glove. I don't know, maybe I was putting too much tanner on, but it was just like a little bit much. So I did apply it all to my body, but I felt like it was still streaky. So then I like brushed over it with my mitt to smooth it out, and then I feel like it looks a lot better. I bet there's probably more product on. Maybe that's the vibe. I guess we'll see. Speaking of self-tanners, actually this book just came in. The Burner Journal. I've been like getting into writing and stuff. And I've heard people recommend this. So pick that up. Then I also saw one of my friends shared this on her Instagram story, Lily, the other day. It's this like tanning, basically like sleeping bag for your self-tanner. So normally when I self tan, uh, like my sheets will just get what up, messed up, whatever, and I'll use a different pillow. All of this stuff goes over there, obviously, and I just self tan and I have a white bed. But I'm gonna try this out today. Either way, I don't need a different pillow because I already have one, but okay, let's see. I got one on Amazon, so I'll link it below. Okay, I don't know how this works. Which way is which? Okay, it is literally a sleeping bag, and then this goes over, so in case your arms go over, which is nice. Um, I will keep y'all posted, because I feel like this is actually a really good invention. Love that. All right, y'all, I look wild because I just tanned. Just wanted to say, I'm feeling so good since incorporating a few things back into my routine. In the recent months, I've been feeling really sluggish, really tired, just not really like in my body almost, just like not fully there. And then I started incorporating more walks and then weightlifting, boxing, and I've been cooking a lot from home and a combination of all of those things. And also like, I haven't traveled in almost two weeks, so I think that's probably helped, but a combination of those things has just made me feel so good. Like I feel way more present, I feel Really, like, my mind is super clear. I feel a lot more, like, level-headed. Not as, like, emotional and kind of, like, off the... I don't know. Like, I feel like before, 
I just felt so tired all the time and I feel so good and so strong and I'm having like the most fun working out right now which like at the end of the day is all that matters to me with when it comes to working out I'm one of those weirdos that genuinely just like loves going to work out I don't love all workouts by the way not at all um I don't like hit I don't like running and I, you know, I don't know there, there are definitely more workouts out there that I don't like that I just like, haven't done is my point I do like hot Pilates on a mat like mat Pilates and I performers like okay I'm not a huge reformer person like when I go to the class all I'm thinking about is like when it's over and I just like don't enjoy it as much I do like solid core like there are certain studios that I do like um but not as much I don't know it depends like I do like solid core but I prefer heated mat Pilates and then I love boxing and I will say Ding Ding in Dallas I've been to all the boxing studios and I like them I've been to like every popular one and then a bunch in LA and I by far prefer Ding Ding it's my favorite boxing gym I've ever, ever been to and then weightlifting is something that I've incorporated and it's so funny because my new class right now I don't know if y'all did like sports in middle school or high school obviously we're still we called it athletics like you know like your athletics period which would be basically like PE class but like working out um and you would go to the weight room right and this morning when I was in my like weightlifting class I'm like this is like literally athletics in middle school but harder and like more fun and I didn't even like athletics in middle school so take that with a grain of salt because I love this class it's at fit social it's like the most welcoming friendly class it's not overwhelming it's not confusing I don't know what I'm doing and I don't feel like stupid or like I can't do it or anything like that. I just like love it. And I'm just like really back on my healthy girl era. And when I'm like taking care of myself physically and mentally, I feel so much better, which is so obvious. <laughs> I know, but like I just feel so good. And I haven't felt so good in so long. So that is all I wanted to say. Um, movement for me is something that just like improves so drastically my mental health and so I even when I like this summer was going through a hard time I was still working out I just like needed to maybe change it up a little bit and like add in some other stuff and whatever I don't know also I just summertime sadness so bad for me and it's just improved my relationship with myself and my confidence a lot not um not from like a physical aspect but more of a I live by the mentality of you, like confidence is trust, so you need trust in yourself. Basically, confidence is built by making promises to yourself and keeping them. So when I make these like morning dates with myself every day where I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go do this work, I'm gonna do this, like over time, I just am like gaining confidence because I'm getting trust in myself because I'm making promises to myself and keeping them. I do that in a lot of other ways too, not just like working out. It's just working out is one of those things that I genuinely enjoy. So that's why I do it. And it's just like, I would, I'm a much better person when I'm doing that, so. Anyways, I'm feeling so much better. I was watching a little bit of booktube, I mean dinner, and now I'm gonna start on the last couple books I have of Colleen Hoover's because I want to film a rating Colleen Hoover's book and I'm gonna do an entire video when I'm back um, spending the whole day reading and I'm very excited because like all these booktubers, like why didn't I start that in 2020? Why wasn't I doing that? I just didn't think anyone would wanna watch that and like now I'm like, what? A gum move, you know? Anyways, we're gonna work with this little sleeping bag thing. Good morning, guys. I just woke up, put my clothes on. I'm going to go to Pilates later, but I think I'm gonna go to Starbucks this morning and I don't know, work, do my master class, something like that. So, this is my outfit. My new white tank top from Aritzia. By the way, I love this cut. I'm really glad I got it. And then I just have a matching set active set on sweater and then just some slides. And this is my morning outfit going into Pilates. I started another Colleen Hoover book last night. It's in the Hopeless series, or no, no it wasn't. In the Slam series, and I hadn't read the last one, but it's like basically the same story because it's just like from a different perspective. So I would recommend if you're gonna read those, like spreading those out. Anyways, I need to do that. I need to finish the Hopeless series. There's a few more, which will be coming soon in a vlog. Look at how beautiful these dogs are, by the way. Do you guys like seeing the dogs in vlogs? Because I just saw this TikTok from this person. She's like really negative. And she was like, no one cares about seeing your kids or your dogs. And I try not to post them too much, but then when I don't post them in vlogs, cause they're always at my feet so you don't see them, then I get comments, so let me know. Let's talk about the topic of being a hater because I woke up to this TikTok 
that I saw. Um, there's this like hawk girl walking in Dallas that everyone does. It's really cool. It's great. People make friends, whatever. And someone like made a rude TikTok about it. And it's just like, what are you getting from that? And then I saw more negative TikToks of people who just have like such negative opinions of everyone else. And it's like, why? Like, I don't know. I just think it's like such wasted energy and also like says so much about you. Like if any of my friends were saying that stuff on the internet, I would literally be so humiliated. I wouldn't even be friends with them anymore. Like I just, I don't know. Just let people do what they want to do. Be a nice person. Just because it's not your thing doesn't mean it's not a cool thing. People have different tastes. Just because you like something or you like someone doesn't mean that someone else liking something else is wrong or them not liking that. Like we just have different preferences. Just like stop being a hater. It's literally so annoying especially because like this isn't even stuff that people did anything wrong about like this isn't someone saying something rude or like offensive or anything like that like this is stuff that's like they like to go on a walk my point being that like you literally cannot win on the internet these days even my dallas tiktoks yesterday i was getting like ripped apart i deleted two of them because i was like oh my god like people and it was literally about like median rent prices from a realtor so i was like what do you want from me and people are trying to fight that and they're mad. I'm like, I'm not even gonna make Dallas content then if you guys are on it, but I'm not gonna do it because you guys are mean. So anyways, um, good morning. We're gonna have a great day. It is Thursday morning, which means um, there's a new World's First podcast and a new podcast of mine. And it's a solo episode titled, You're Not Behind. And I'm listing off people who like gain success later in life. She's going crazy. Like it's crazy because when the camera's off, she's normal and fine. And then when the candle, oh my God, then she turns into like a demon when the camera comes on. Like you're scaring them. Um, anyways, that podcast episode, I haven't even promoted it yet, but I've been getting so many messages from y'all saying it really helped and I really hope it does. So if you feel like you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself to achieve certain things by a certain age or to be somewhere by a certain age or just, I don't know, the pressure to overachieve in life phases and things like that, I'm listing off people who like didn't even gain success or like start doing their career they wanted to do until they were like 50. So some of them are 40, some of them are 60. I mean, it's, it's good. So go listen. I just did a little haul on TikTok, but look at what I got in the mail. All of my Skims pink orders. Well, the other order already came in with the pajama set that I've been wearing, but these are so cute. I'm about to throw this on after a shower. I got the long sleeve dress in this hot pink color, which is truly just my favorite color. I have this dress, I think in four colors at this point. And then I also got the tank top version of it, which is so cute. For shoes, now listen, I don't love like the furry look inside, like you can't even tell, but when you put them on, they're so comfortable and they were on sale on Sam Edelman and everyone was just saying that they're the most comfortable ballet flats ever. And I have to be honest, they are, I just tried them on and I'm like, I'm going to live in these. If you're not on ballet flat girl fall, like you have to just get with it. I know I'm getting so many messages of people begging me to not wear them. And I have to let you know that I will be wearing them. So I'm really sorry. And then I got these shoes. I'm such a shoe and bag girl, come to realize, or skims. Like clothing wise skims, then I just love accessories. These kitten heel shoes. I'm obsessed and I'll be wearing them all the time. Especially these with like jeans and a sweater in the fall and my like Chanel bag. Over oh my God, like how fabulous, love. Also, Sam Edelman, I love Sam Edelman shoes, like love, so I'm so excited. Okay, I have showered, um, I washed my hair, which is, you know, the worst thing ever. Um, and I'm wearing my new Skim set, it's so comfortable. I actually live in these. Skims is my favorite, honestly probably my favorite brand, my favorite place to shop. There is not a day that goes by that I'm not wearing something from Skims on my body because if it's not clothing, I'm wearing either their like scoop bralettes or the Skims thong. I'm, I'm wearing something from Skims every single day. So, anyways, um, just wanted to share with you guys again how cozy my room looks. I want to record a fall episode on like how to have the best fall. Basically, no, that's like sounds stupid, but not that. More so like how to make your home cozy is what I'm getting at and achieve the fall winter vibe. But. 
Anyways, my sweet green has arrived. My favorite lunch. Yes, I have soup. I can eat. I'll eat that later. I just really was craving this again. All right, guys. Here's my outfit for the night. My top is Aritzia. Pants are Amazon. I'll link them below. Literally 20 bucks and amazing. My shoes are my favorite heels that are always sold out. They're um, Ray from Revolve. I love them. And then my favorite bag that carries my vlog camera. Um, I put on Peyton's collab that's available now with, I think it's Bird Love, right? Yeah, no, it is Bird Life. Okay, here's the thing. I think for this outfit, maybe maybe just the earrings. I don't know though, because I do really like it. <laughs> Who knows? I guess we'll just see throughout. Like I'm honestly kind of into it, so whatever. We're just gonna do it. I really don't like when things are like over accessorized normally. I think it makes things look like tacky. Um, and this might not be the fit for all of this. I would have worn the bracelet too. It needs to be a little bit classier, like nicer or like classier. Anyways, I'm picking up Warren. I'm taking her to her first uh, like med spa appointment with my girl, Chelsea. Um, love her. So we're gonna go to that. And then after we have an event at the Wiv, which is our favorite bar in all of Dallas. Like this just means the absolute world to us. So it's a really big night for us. It's a really big day for us because we got invited, along with everyone else going to this event. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, just me and Lauren. We got invited to an event at the Wib, and it's our home. It's our second home. If you, I mean, I feel like I've definitely posted the Wib a ton, but um, that's actually our favorite place ever, and most of our friends are against us. They just don't have a good time. I will say I'm nervous to see it in daylight. It, it is definitely a second <laughs> bar. It's actually like where you end your night sort of vibe. It's not, like don't go at 9 p.m. Don't go at 10 p.m. Not even that, 12, 15, yeah. I would say. Like, <laughs> and it is one of those things that it's like a vortex. Like if there is anything I can't really remember well in life, it's nice at the whip, you I, know? I love that place. I love that. I have the best memories. We have so much fun. Whenever I do, you know what I was thinking about? So guys, I'm working on doing a Dallas live show. And like, what if my Dallas live show is like on a weekday? Then we can't get a table to whip. What if Why it's like not? on Monday? Well, there, you could do it on Thursday. Well, what if I don't have choice? Because you don't have options with dates. I just think that you should make it your option and a priority. <laughs> hey, I will not be doing this live <laughs> show if it is not on a Thursday, <laughs> Friday, or Saturday. Okay. The well. whip tables are the cheapest. And it's probably yeah. because it's muddy and grimy inside. But so are most places. So are most places. And they're themed. So they've had like the Friends theme. They've had the Simpsons theme. Right now it's um, Game of Thrones, which they've is what we're Breaking Bad. To. Breaking Bad. What else am I missing? Office. They did the Office. Oh, the Office. Yes. Oh, it's like every six Look months. at how good a parking lot it's got here. It's so good. We really could have walked. We've been in the car for. We could look. Two minutes. Mm, yeah, <laughs> it's fine, guys. We just we're making a thing. So, anyways, it's gonna be really fun. Um, on Henderson, if you guys ever see that building next to High Fives with all the smiley faces on it, well, you won't see smiley faces for a bit because it's right now you'll see the castle. Right now, you're actually gonna see a castle. We're going to Winterfell. <laughs> oh, Whipperfell. Oh, Whipperfell. I mean, this is just. Iconic, how are you feeling? This is my favorite place ever. <laughs> you normally it doesn't look like this, but we're very excited. Here we are, guys. It's our favorite place. It's very weird to be here during the day. Um, last time I was here, we were at a friend's table for her birthday and someone stole my jacket and they lied. And then Lauren and I said something and they said no. And then this guy that was really nice went and said something, it was a mutual friend, and they got the jacket back to me. Um, but yeah, haven't worn it since, but uh, that was really traumatic actually. That was actually horrible. I was like, that's my friend's jacket. She's wearing, she gaslit us. Yeah. She, yeah, she's wearing a black leather blazer, I'm holding a brown leather blazer. She's like, no, this is my jacket. No, I said, where's that from? I'm pretty sure it's mine. And she goes, oh, you wouldn't like it, you wouldn't even know the store. I'm like, it's Zara. Yeah, and she was like, no, it's not. And we were like, okay, show the tag. Yeah, Zara. Yeah, so we got it back, but uh, she hates us. <laughs> One day you are 17, the next you are becoming your mother and unboxing gluten-free, paleo, vegan, non-GMO bread. So this is, I mean it looks incredible actually. I actually love gluten-free bread. Random thing about me. We have the everything bread and we have the everyday loaf. I'm really excited. I love gluten. I know it sounds like so weird, but I actually love it. So anyways, look at this cute little bakery. 
They just sent it over. Thank you so much. 100% compostable bag and label. It's woman owned. We love. Also, just got a restock of my Sonia Dakar Omega oil. This is like my favorite oil ever for skin. And then got these samples of this overnight sculpting mask, which I actually got the, they sent that to me. This I bought. Um, so I need to try that out, but I love Sonia Dakar skincare. It's so good. I'm back home. I started my period, which I'm in so much pain, but I will say like the, I don't have that many breakouts, but I do have like some breakouts. I knew it was a hormonal thing. I obviously like, knew my period was coming, but I knew it was a hormonal thing. And it would be so much worse if I wasn't using this Tower 28 spray. Like this face spray, I'm telling you, it is the best thing that has ever happened to my skin along with that I've just been using my apostrophe thing at night um, and taking my medicine that they prescribed me. And I'm just saying like my skin, it's not perfectly clear right now, but it would be so much worse if I wasn't using this stuff. Cause on my period, I just like, there's, there's nothing you can do. So anyways, just wanna give you guys an update. I'm gonna read go to bed and then tomorrow morning I actually have a bunch of workouts so I have a 6 to 10 a.m. spin class and then I have my normal walk and then my Friday morning boxing class the reason that I'm doing two workouts is because it's my friend so it's Adam who's like one of my favorite Pilates instructors it's his first like invite only spin class that he invited me to so I'm going to support and then Friday morning spin or Friday morning boxing is like my new favorite class so I don't want to miss that, but even if I was going to skip, because obviously two workouts in one morning is a lot, um, Amanda's coming tomorrow, so like I can't skip anyway. So it's going to be like really an active morning, <sighs> really getting back into my health routine, but I'm feeling so good. Like I just keep saying that, I'm like, I'm just feeling so good. So anyways, going to bed, going to read, what time is it right now? 7.48 p.m. <gasps> be real. Oh my God, I missed it by five, six minutes ago. I still look at my phone. My God. Guys, good morning. I am somehow wide awake. Actually, not somehow. I had such bad cramps that just was like, kept waking me up throughout the night. And then conveniently, it woke me up and my alarm was gonna go off. And so now I'm wide awake, but it's not because I have energy. It's because I was in so much pain. So anyways, I'm off to spin class. I'm hoping that my workouts make me feel better. We're going, I think it's post cycle. Why am I forgetting? It, now it's showing that it's too early. One second, I will remember. Give me one second. Yeah, I was right, it's Coast Cycle. It's my first time going, it's a new spin studio in Dallas. I like spin, I'm just very particular. So far, my favorite spin class in Dallas is at um, Class Studios. I love Hip Hop Friday. My favorite teacher actually doesn't work there anymore, but Paige is great too. She was like, actually, they were tied for my favorite to be fair, but. Anyways, I'm somehow awake, thank God. Hopefully I make it through my morning workouts, guys. This is a first that I'm doing, so uh, pray for me. my walk with my dad I'm going to get Amanda and we're going to boxing I feel really good as of right now I think I'll be okay after these two workouts won't be doing two in a day really again like that's a, a no-go but I had to I had to today so anyways I'm feeling good um this is my favorite class of the week is boxing with Dre so I'm actually like really excited today's just gonna be a good day a good Friday no, All right. Not prevail. Rumble? Rumble. We're boxing, which is. Are you excited? Yes, Make I Amanda am. go. No excuses. Ding dong. Oh, ding ding. <laughs> All right, guys. Here's my outfit of the day. I'm back from boxing. I somehow feel amazing today. I'll probably crash later, um, but I'm feeling good. I'm wearing just the Skims tank. These pants are from Parade. My shoes are Revolve normal Chanel bag, jewelry. I don't, this bracelet is actually Kendra Scott. Jennifer Fisher hoops and um, my scrunchies from the hair edit and I'm obsessed with these scrunchies. Okay, I just ordered breakfast from Chop Shop. Gonna go grab my breakfast outside. I need to leave because I'm getting my TSA pre-check finally. I know I've 
I literally fly all the time and I don't know how I don't have it yet. So yeah. Um, and then after that, I'm going on my solo date of the week. I'm going back to Wild Detectives and I'm gonna have like, a little solo date there. So that is the plan. Whew, feeling good. And I need to work a little bit, but anyways, this is the look. <laughs> I got my favorite daughter sweater in the mail. I got two actually, but they ended up overselling one of them so they didn't have it in stock. So I ended up with one, um, but it was on sale. These sweaters are so nice. I have one other that I got for Christmas. Wow, really nice sweater. I just had to get it because it's such a nice quality sweater and I got it like half off, I think, maybe even less than that. But any nice sweaters I keep for years, so they're always worth the investment but just like a nice gray little turtleneck. Super cute, love. All right guys, so I'm just going to be working from home for the remainder of the day, and then tonight we're going to Carbone. I'm filming the whole weekend on my life video, so I hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life video. Back on my healthy routine, getting my life together, all that stuff, but I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you in a few hours in my next vlog, bye. If you have a friendship that you know is no longer good for you, mm -hmm. um, how would you recommend like breaking that off? Do you think there needs to be a conversation? Do you think sometimes things fizzle out? Like, How do we best navigate that? You're going to want to try and have either a face-to-face or a phone call uh, with the person. And that's the courageous move and that's the scariest move. 